Oh, hello. Can you hear me? I've just dropped my spoon down the side of the sofa. It's probably not very hygienic to eat that with that now, but uh, I think I still will. I'm, I'm, uh, my standards have fallen since I've started living by myself, you know, reusing plates that I haven't washed. Dirty spoons, not very good. Anyway, welcome to a Friday night live stream, which is a little bit unusual for me. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Double Decker Couch, Couch, <laughs> Couch and Brick X Brick Productions. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Um, I really struggle to get this live stream going, actually. There's about five different ways of doing it now from YouTube. Um, but I managed it in the end. My laptop fan is determined to power up, though. It's really struggling because, as we all know, you know, three gigahertz, eight terabytes of RAM. It's just not enough, really, to stream average quali quality video over the Internet. How are you, Jake? I am very well, thank you, because I have a chocolate mousse. So uh, who wouldn't be OK with a chocolate mousse? I'm really looking forward to eating this. Hello. Yes, this is live. Boom. Yes, it is. I like a a like Dr. Jake. Doesn't make sense, but I'll go with it because it's Friday and everything goes on a Friday. How are you? I'm very well. Finished a week of work, got a weekend off now. Looking forward to a lovely long sleep and a lie-in. But as we all know, I'll wake up at 7 a.m. as usual. Are you actually a doctor? Get this question a lot. I'm a computer scientist, not a medical doctor. Uh, I love your channel. Joyce, thank you very much. I'm glad you like my channel. Can I have some? No, because it's not currently possible to send a chocolate mousse over the internet. But these are very reasonably priced. So if you've got a little store near you, go and pick yourself up a cheap, tasteless chocolate mousse. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. A moose in the new hoose. There's a moose loose about this hoose. Lego love. Yes, I love Lego. You can't see any. I should show you some. Otherwise, people will complain, won't they? So where's the Lego? Oh, there we go. There is a Lego minifigure set and there is a Lego ship in a bottle. So there you go. That's your fill of Lego. I'll try and answer some of these questions before I get on to discussing the point of this video. The main point of this video is I'm probably not going to upload a video tomorrow morning. I'm sorry to say, because I want to film a video that's a little bit different, that might not appeal to you all. Um, so I thought I would give you something, give my regular viewers something in return for their loyal support. So here we here we are now. Hello from the Republic of Texas. Oh, I visited Texas years ago. It was uh, very enjoyable, actually. Had a really good steak, solid gold spoon. This is actually a gold plated spoon because allegedly because the gold is like one of gold is one of the like least reactive metals. If you eat with gold spoons, the food tastes better. So if you eat a yogurt using a gold plated spoon, the yogurt should taste creamier. Everything should taste nicer. So I buy a cheap yogurt and hope that my gold plated spoon makes it taste nicer. Which minifigure set is it? It is the Batman minifigure set. Have you filled in all your holes? I assume you are referring to the holes in the room I've decorated in the wall. I have filled some of them in. Do you like Toy Story? I'm not a huge, it's not that I'm a, not a huge fan. I haven't really watched Toy Story close enough to be fanatical, but I can recognise that it is a huge achievement in terms of computer graphics and storytelling. It's kind of leap forward in CGI. I was going to say children's animation, but it's just animation, isn't it? But I'm not a huge, huge fan. Who's your camera person? It's my legs. What about my profile pic? It's Canadian, Canadian leaf, isn't it? Maple leaf. Are you drunk? No, not unless you can get drunk on chocolate mousse, which I don't think you can. 
bring back the center parks vlogs tell me about it i would love to go back to center parks and film another vlog i really enjoyed that stay and i was quite surprised actually how well that vlog went down because when i started filming it i thought there's no way this is going to be as good as last year's vlog which was i was quite proud of cinematically it was quite good pretty i thought i'm never going to beat this and actually i think i managed it just goes to show that if you don't try sometimes you can achieve that's that's not the actual um that's not what you're supposed to get actually from that story is it do you have little in england yes i do have you got that jaguar car of yours from a jaguar owner Yes, John Carver, I still have. I've had that car for five years. And um, that is actually what the video I'm going to try and film tomorrow about that car. An updated view of like 20 years of the Jaguar X-Type. It's a pity your girlfriend is not called Polly. Polly filler. <laughs> I don't use Polly filler, actually, to be really boring for a moment. I use something else that I can't remember what it's called. So that story went nowhere, didn't it? Hi, Jake. You put out some great content. Love the dry British humour. I'm also from the UK and love moose. Most people love moose, don't they? I think with mooses, moosey, moosey, I don't know, moose. Is mooses the plural of moose? Anyway, I, I digress ever so slightly. If you have a moose and you stir it, it changes, it goes from an airy light mousse to a sort of, I don't know, a gloopy mess, doesn't it? Like that half the volume. Do you do that? I don't, because I like to feel like I'm getting more value for money by eating air bubbles. Uh, how's the mousse? It was really nice. I finished it because I was waffling on and not really thinking about it. So uh, it's gone. And I don't even feel like I've eaten it, so I might have to get another one. Your girlfriend is amazing at photography. Thank you very much. I will pass that on to her. I hope you're liking all of her pictures on there. Moose pots are annoying because you can't get to the corners. I know, look at that. It's terrible. Have I got chocolate around my, I've got chocolate around my mouth? A gold-plated spoon. Genius. I think it works, you know, because normally if you put a spoon in your mouth, you do get a kind of metally taste, don't you? But you just don't get it with this. So go and get yourself a solid gold spoon. 45 watching and only nine likes. I completely agree. If you're watching this and you're even remotely enjoying it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I'm sure it's got a thumbs down already. I have some extraordinary viewers who tune into all my videos to tell me how much they don't like the direction I'm going in. Well, screw you. Screw it, but thank you to everybody who does enjoy. And thank you to the people who, if they see a video I upload that they don't like or they're not interested in watching, they just don't watch it. That's a novel idea, isn't it? I use a pepper pig spoon. I have a lightsaber spoon, as you may know from one of my previous videos, but I don't use it. Can we move on from spooning? <laughs> okay. I like, I liked no thumbs down. Good. I'm glad there's no thumbs down. A pity vote. I don't want a pity vote, Tass. I want people to genuinely enjoy this. I do notice we're nine minutes in and I haven't really actually talked about anything other than moose and this spoon, have I? I'm good at this. I'm good at just waffling on, aren't I? I'll see you a like for a tenner. Andy, I'm not paying you 10 quid to like my videos. Why would I Why would I do that? How does that benefit me at all? It's, I think it's against YouTube's terms of service, actually. There was that whole period in the past where um, people used to pay money, didn't they, for views and likes. Not great. Not, not really a sustainable business model, that, is it? Now, you can tell I'm a single gentleman, like, can't you? Because, look. If you look down here, if you ignore the uh, ignore my clothes drying down there, which is also the sign of a single gentleman, I've just rather than put this used 
moose container in a sensible place. I've just balanced it on a cushion. Just, ba just balanced it out of sight, out of mind. That's the approach I take to living. I'm not in the kitchen, so therefore I can't see the dirty plates that need washing up. So if I don't go in the kitchen, then they don't exist. That's sure that's like, that's virtually the Schrodinger's cat experiment, isn't it? If you're not in the kitchen, the plates don't exist, something like that. You are missing out. Most of these comments as you are drunk, right, okay. I will now concentrate on your comments and answer your questions. So if you answer, ask me something, I will answer sensibly. I'm not drunk. I haven't had anything to drink. I was going to drink a gin and tonic, but I decided that, firstly, I didn't want to look poncy. And secondly, it would be nice to do a live stream where I'm just not drunk, really, wouldn't it? Right. Love your videos. Also, what's your favourite type of content to create? Now, that is a very, very good question. I like doing live streams, actually, because I like the instant feedback I get from you, um, except when people ask me to do things that I don't feel comfortable doing. Are you a doctor? Again, I'll answer it again, but this will probably be for the last time. I've got a PhD in computer science. I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know anything about medicine at all, apart from take a paracetamol if you've got a headache. Your shirt is nearly the same colour as your sofa. If I turn my phone brightness down, you're just a hovering head, like Holly from Red Dwarf. Ah, they're all dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Do, don't do sensible. I like your sense of humour. OK. I will be as daft as usual. Don't worry about that. We ask you waffle. Ready, steady, go. I will waffle until the cows come home. Do you like Star Wars? You know I love Star Wars. That's that's a silly question, isn't it? I do love Star Wars, but I think I like Star Trek marginally more, actually. I should really actually talk about a couple of the things uh, that are in the title of this video before everyone accuses me of clickbait. So firstly, El Camino. Two weeks today, the new Star... Um, Breaking Bad film is released on Netflix, follows Jesse Pinkman immediately after the last episode of the final series of Breaking Bad as he's escaped from those neo-Nazis and Walt is dead and he's in a field in his car, unsure of what to do. Um, and it's basically going to follow his life, I think, after those events. Now, what's interesting is that people are obviously guessing or there are theories that Walt isn't dead but it looks like he probably is because when he's sitting in his car there's a message on the radio that's played saying that nine bodies were found in this meth factory and if you count the people in the neo-nazi group basically it was eight in total including Walt it was nine so it looks as if he probably is dead but I would be surprised if he didn't make a cameo in El Camino. Huh. Cameo El Camino. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Um, I'm looking forward to it, but no doubt about it, Walt was definitely my favourite character, so I'll be a bit sad that he's not in it. But I trust Vince Gilligan. He's a superb writer. I loved every episode of Breaking Bad, so hopefully the film will keep us entertained. Are you looking forward to it? Right, I shall read some of your questions again. Have you ever punched a male in the face? Do I look like the kind of person who would punch somebody in the face? I haven't even killed a fly. I really could not hurt anything. I could hurt myself, probably. I've tripped somebody over when I was very young. That's it. That's all. What gin are you drinking? Not actually drinking any gin, but I have got a bottle of sapphire London gin in the kitchen, which I was going to have a glass of. What happened to Tor girlfriend? I assume you mean your girlfriend, and she still exists. I'm still going out with her, but she doesn't live with me, so nothing happened to her. I don't, not that I'm aware, not unless anything happened since I saw her at five o'clock this afternoon. Jesse loses everything including his hairline. Oh, very droll. That's that's um, very funny. Yeah, he has going a little bit bald, isn't he? 
Uh, hello, ha. Sean's world. Hello, ha, to you. Do you like the song Ocean Man? Never heard it. Howdy, how are you? I am very well. Do you think you sound like Will from the Inbetweeners? No. Okay, maybe a tiny, tiny bit like Will from the Inbetweeners. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Don't you just love writing banana in JavaScript? I, I don't have any idea what you're on about because I know I really don't know. Have you got any pets? Sean, I used to have a pet dog, but unfortunately he died nearly a year ago. So I don't have any pets, but I have at the moment, actually, thinking about it, got a pet spider in the kitchen. A spider has taken up residence by the coffee machine, which sadly means that I can never drink coffee ever again. But, you know, that's just a fact of life. Why isn't your girlfriend living with you? Do you have commitment issues? Yes, I do have commitment issues. I can't commit to anything or anyone. I can't even commit to doing this live stream. I might just end it any second. Good evening, James. Where has your neck gone? I don't, not really a very necky person. I've got, I, I have a bit self-conscious about my neck. I really, I, I hunch when I walk and I often turtle my neck. Do you listen to the Beatles? Yes, I do, actually. I do really like the Beatles. My favourite album is Abbey Road. How's the crack in the wall? Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. The crack in the wall is I filled it with plaster, so I basically pretended that it doesn't exist, but it definitely does still exist. What job do you have? I am a scientist, computer scientist. What is your favourite film or TV series? It's an old one, but my favourite film is The Matrix, and they're, they're making a reboot. Can you believe it? I'm not sure how they're going to do it, because Neo's dead, Trinity's dead. Uh, I think basically everybody's dead. Smith's dead. I don't know how they're going to do it. They're all a lot older. Um, Trinity was a bit of a babe in the original Matrix things. And, you know, she's a little bit older now. I, I'd i be interested to see what she looks like in a cat suit. Um, I, I'm not, I'm just being objective here. I'm not being sexist. Keanu Reeves look, does look basically exactly the same, sort of timeless. Can you talk about your work for MI6? I don't work for MI6. Do you listen to Queen? Yes, I do listen to Queen, often very loudly in my car, singing along to Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm expecting my Abbey Road box set to arrive tomorrow. Exciting. Is this some kind of remaster, some kind of digitally restored 4K jobby or something? Have you ever worked in retail? What did it teach you? I did work in retail. Actually, I used to work for a supermarket while I was studying as a student. And um, what did it teach me? It taught me I didn't want to work in retail long term. It taught me that I was probably well suited to retail because I was quite good at it. Um, but yeah, oh, there's a lot of noise outside. Um, people walking past. Naughty people. Did you once have a cat? No, but my girlfriend has a cat. Has two cats. Um, everybody's dead, Dave. Indeed, they're all dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. What, Kachansky? They're all dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. If you don't watch Red Dwarf, you're just going to think I'm a nutcase now, aren't you? Uh, Queen are great. Queen are brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Funnily enough, I didn't like that film they re that they released, that biopic about film. I loved the Elton John biopic, um, but the Queen one I thought was a bit contrived but anyway robert's son you're leaving soon that is sad what time is it where you are do i depending on the time i may or may not give you permission to leave ever watch benny hill of course everyone's watched benny hill especially when you're a young man are you bruising a mailing list i don't know building no i'm not how do i build a mailing list how do i get your emails um Another thing is, you are a very kind man, and have you watched the Alan Partridge film? It's nice of you to say that I'm a kind man. I don't know how you know that. Uh, I like to think I'm kind, but but thank you. And I have watched Alan Partridge. Absolutely love 
Alan Partridge. Of course, everyone's biggest fear is that secretly they're a little bit like Alan Partridge. I do worry about that, but uh, we'll try and forget about it for now. Hi, Dr. Jake. Sorry I'm late. I will do penance if you like. No, not necessary at all. You haven't missed much, um, but welcome. Any time here is time that I am grateful for. I will just say quickly, the 72 of you here at the moment, absolutely mind-blowing that 72 people, 74 people would be even remotely interested in watching me ramble on for a few minutes. Thank you very much. And please give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it because of just reasons of vanity, no actual practical reasons, just because I want to see a slightly higher number when I look at the video. Dear, what's wrong with me? I've been oh my oh dear! I can just I'm watching. Oh, I'm talking rubbish. Ignore me. You're still missing my comments. I read that one. Uh, yes, it's the fiftieth anniversary of Abbey Road, remild, remastered by Giles Martin. Giles Martin is that like Thingy Martin's son or something? George Martin's son. Um, are you going to do any more outside broadcasts? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dear. I've gone horribly wrong. This is this is like this has taken Brexit and just gone 30 times worse than Brexit. Wait a minute. Oh, my word. Oh, uh, uh, oh I shouldn't really make um, kind of whining noises like that because otherwise my neighbours will wonder what's going on, won't they? Right. Here we go. Are you going to do any more outside broadcasts like when you went to the holiday camp? I really want to. It wasn't a holiday camp. <laughs> but it's a bit like a holiday camp, wasn't it? I would like to do some out, outside line. How? How? I'm holding up my laptop with my hand and I just got cramp in my fingers. Anyway, I promise I haven't been drinking. Not really a scientist unless you wear a lab coat. I could wear a lab coat, but not even wit scientists. <laughs> it's a stupid name for them. Like biologists. Not even they wear lab coats in the dry lab at the computer. They only wear lab coats when they're in the wet lab which, as the name suggests, is a lab with running water and gas and stuff in it. If you could have any three people over for dinner, who would they be? What a very, very interesting question. I would practically three rich women who might find me attractive. OK, I think I might better, I think I better think of three other people. Uh... Uh, Stephen Fry, because he'd be quite interesting. Woody Allen, because he's amusing. Uh, and and, and uh, oh, Seven of Nine, just for because of the interesting conversation I'm, I'm sure that we could have. Uh, if you could, uh, favourite Eminem album. I, I don't really have a, I don't, to be honest, I'm of that generation where I'm not really like that familiar with the albums. I'm kind of more no songs and things, you know, I like that one, you know, my name is, my name is Slim Shady, that one. Are you a fan of Minecraft? Never played it. So not really a fan. It's only 5.43 p.m. in here in New York. You can't leave. OK, I won't leave. I'll stay here. Maybe I'll stay here all night. We'll see. Who is your favourite doctor? And do you like the new series with Jodie? Really tried to get into the one with Jodie. She's a fantastic actress. I just think the writing's a bit naff. I'm of that age where naturally I like David Tennant. He's definitely the best doctor. Mate, it's 10am. Robert's son, I, can I give you permission to leave at 10am? Unless you're going to do your weekly shop or something. You've got to stay here, mate. You know, I'm not just going to... You can't just pop in and then leave for no reason. Been to Australia, and do you have any plans to head down here one day for a holiday or work? Never been to Australia. Been told I should go. Always a little bit put off because it's like 24 hours of flying from the UK. But maybe one day, who knows? But do you guys have a lot of tarantulas and snakes and things? Because that really would put me off. Not a fan of the old creepy crawlies. Uh, my favourite Beatles album has got to be Best of the Beatles. <sighs> Aren't you hilarious? Are you a patriot or a globalist, mate? Um, does that mean... That sounds like a thinly veiled 
version of did you vote Brexit or Remain? And in the interest of balance and impartiality, I'm not going to answer that question. But you can probably guess. I don't get the impression he's kind. Thanks, John Smith. Uh, so we've taken one person who thinks that it's self-evident that I'm a kind, caring person, and you just like, no, we, I don't think get the impression he's kind. I get the impression that he is selfish and uncaring. Thanks very much, John Smith. Appreciated. Is your favourite colour candy apple grey? Is that because that looks a little bit greyish or what? What's your, what are you saying? What are you saying? My favourite colour is actually red. Can't you tell that red carpet, red shirt, red face, red sofa? Uh, are you going to do some vlogs about your everyday life? We liked the Centre Parks vlog. Your sense of humour is great. Thank you very much. That's really nice to say. I am surprised that people find me at all amusing. But thank you. Uh, I, I was thinking about it. I was going to do myself a fried breakfast tomorrow, you know, bacon, eggs, toast, coffee. Although I can't use the coffee machine because it's got a spider next to it. Um, would you be interested in seeing that sort of thing? Because I could vlog it, you know, maybe this instead of having to think of novel topics to film a 15 minute video on for people to then say, why did you upload the video? It was rubbish. Maybe I could just talk random crap and people would watch that instead. Benny Hill and the Dukes of Hazard was my first TV T and A. What's a T and A? Do I want to know? Robert Sun, goodbye. Thank you for stopping by. I do genuinely appreciate it. Have you ever considered wood carving or metal carving? These are not the hands of somebody who could carve something. Well, oh, that was really funny, actually. What's wrong with my hands? Why do they look really stumpy? They don't look that stumpy in real life. In fact, um, to all the girls out there, I look much more attractive in real life. A lot taller, a lot, a lot longer neck, a lot slimmer um, in real life. Do you like to make puns? I do, but that sounds a little bit like the setup for a joke. So is there a punchline there? You haven't mi missed much until Mr. Jake, as he is missing comments. I, I don't understand. You've got a thumbs up from me, but I've heard you get better credit from YouTube with thumbs down. Is that true? Well, I don't want to don't want to ask for that. Has this video got any thumbs down yet? Let me know, guys. I'd be interested to know. Who are these people who just log in and then leave me thumbs down? You seem... Oh, this is this is a good one, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, wood carving. This guy's obsessed with wood carving. I've never carved wood. Um. Oh, these have all come back. Hello, I'm back again. I... You won't like the price of lobster. I can't eat lobster. I'm allergic to shellfish. Uh, your name isn't Slim Shady. Oh, all these comments have just appeared, guys. Sorry about this. Dylan House, whoever that is. I know who that is. Hello, Steve. Can I come to dinner? You can come to dinner. Um, it's Little Moose for dinner tomorrow night. Oh, sorry. Little Moose Surprise. You have to guess. Um, what is Brexit? A person from the States here. Brexit is the UK's attempt to stay in the European Union as long as possible, but to argue about leaving and then never actually leave. Um, yeah, we had a vote which was really conclusive because 50% uh, of the people or approximately 50% of the people in the country who voted, voted to leave the European Union. And then, surprisingly, the majority, the other 50% of people voted to stay in the European Union. And um, we've got to pretend that there's a huge consensus that we've all agreed to leave, rather than um, the probably the biggest division in opinion in UK politics and among the population that's probably ever existed. So, yeah, pretty pretty interesting stuff. P 
pervert. I assume I assume that's not directed at me. Um, if I was to guess your age, would I be correct at thirty-two? Sounds like you in you're in actually no, you'd be wrong. You're a year out. I'm thirty-three. Uh, Nick Griffin. Don't I don't know who well, I know who Nick Griffin is, but I don't know why you're pointing that out. Uh, three witch women. Are you the YouTube Harvey Weinstein? No, I'm not going through these comments very quickly. I'm going to try and speed this up. This is going to be rapid question answering. Your name isn't Slim Shady. Correct. Are you into history? Mm. John Smith, interesting comment. Uh, I'm not very nice to call someone a wanker, is it? Essentially. <laughs> uh, that made me laugh, though. Can I be your protege like Blue Man Van is to True Geordie? Of course you can. I'm not sure you'd want to be my protege, but yeah, position is open. So by all means, and no other applicants, so you got the job. Have you ever considered wood carving? Again, no, I haven't. Who shot Biggie Smalls? I don't know. Isn't it $30 a kilogram? Don't know what you're talking about. I'm the undercover mod on here. Everybody keeps things clean or I'll toss your asses out. Uh, right. Have you? Oh, yes. Have I considered damn wood carving? Today I watched your moving house video. I recently moved house and your video was excellent. Well done. Spot on. Thank you. I couldn't stand the Jodie episode of Doctor Who. I felt they were like they were written to make social and or political points, etc. I agree to a large extent. The problem is I'd watched quite a few YouTube videos saying exactly that. And your opinion tends to become the stuff you're exposed to on YouTube. So I don't want to comment too deeply on that. I think maybe they were just crap storylines. What part of England do you come from? I come from the East. I think we've skipped a lot of questions now. I'm briefly going to talk about the Star Wars film. Are you excited about it? That's in December, isn't it? Shortly before Christmas. I was thinking about it and talking about it with my girlfriend the other day. I'm not actually sure what like, what actually is going to happen at all in the film. They haven't actually set up any kind of cliffhanger at all, have they? We've got no idea. All we know about the next film is that supposedly it ties up the Skywalker story. The Emperor is in it in some way. Princess Leia will probably die. And that's it. I mean, really, The Last Jedi needn't have actually existed. Do you agree? Do more live streams. We'll watch them all. Enjoy them. Good. I will try and do more live streams. There's no excuse for me not to. But, you know, sometimes you just don't, you know, fancy it. Do you know what I mean? Lepin wants to smash your nerdy glasses and shave your hair. It's not called Lepin no more, mate. It's called King or something. Dylan House. Night, Jake. I'm off to bed. Are you off to work tomorrow, Steve? Enjoy. <laughs> See you soon, mate. We went 17.4 twats to leave more like... <laughs> Star Wars is getting a bit samey. They've released too many Star Wars films and people are a bit bored of them. And even they have realised that. So I think they're going to slow down a bit, aren't they? I can tell you are a bit Lib Dem guy. Have voted Lib Dem once in the past. My wife, Samantha, always asks, have you posted your new video yet? Please say hello. She is listening in, lol. John Carver, hello to you and hello to your wife, Samantha. I appreciate you watching my videos very much. I hope they keep you entertained. And I hope that somehow I manage to keep thinking of videos to upload every week. Because my word, I look back at my videos and I think, how have I done it? And how will I do it in future? To be honest, it scares the out of me. What sport do you like? Come on, what stupid, what sport do I like? Look at me. Tiddlywinks. Last Jedi is Star Wars Godfather 3. Well, I don't know. The Godfather, Godfather Part 3 wasn't that bad. I liked that. Have you cleaned your desk yet? Mm, 
sort of. Your quick fire is slower than Brexit. That's harsh. Brexit's taken like three years. Are you frying black pudding tomorrow? If not, why not? I'm not because I'm not northern and I don't like congealed pig's blood. Are you a male feminist? Well, that's a touchy subject. I'm not going to answer that. I believe in equal rights. That's that's the extent of uh, of what I'm willing to say to the answer to answer that question. Did your shirt come off? Come with your sofa. It did. It was a special offer. Um, the I also bought the flaky sofa package as well. You see, this one. Um, this it costs a lot of money to get a sofa that flakes like that. If you're very eagle-eyed now, what you do is pause this video or take a screenshot and examine my book collection there and see that there is Tony Blair's autobiography, which isn't actually, believe it or not, an indication that I am a huge Tony Blair fan. I don't know why I bought it, but I'm not the kind of person to buy a book and then get rid of it. So it stays there and people draw conclusions that may or may not be correct based on the presence of his autobiography in my bookcase. Any chance of a behind the scenes video showing up a live, setting up a live stream? Um, I don't think it'd be very interesting because I use the default YouTube software, just their standard live stream software built into the YouTube interface. So it would be a very short video. Your habit of always pushing up your glasses is something distracting. But at least I do it like this now, because there was a time when I used to do it like that. And I always think that makes you look a bit, like, stupid. But it's very annoying. I don't know why they slide down. I think I must have rubbish ears. I mean, look how bent they are at the side. They should not be sliding down at all. It's my stupid little ears, isn't it? Where's your girlfriend? She's She's not here. She's at home knob for a nose or nose for a knob um knob for a nose mein camp you are a dark horse i don't have mein camp what subject is your video on for tomorrow <laughs> yeah there isn't really going to be a video upload tomorrow morning but i am going to film a video about my car which may go up probably on Sunday. Oxfam would be happy to have that Tony Blair book. That's true. Could make a an inappropriate joke there about Oxfam, but I won't. What sub... Uh, mine, yeah. Stop being racist. Us Northerners have feelings too. You know as well as I do that Northerners don't have feelings. Broken in production? But it works on my machine. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. In, in celebration of equal rights, I've decided to become the world's first meat and dairy eating vegan and the world's first male lesbian. That's very, very brave of you. Congratulations. Can you play chess? No, I'm ashamed to say that checkers is the most you're going to get out of me. Um, and probably not a particularly good game of checkers because you have to you do have to plan ahead in those games, don't you? And I really I can plan at most one move ahead. Uh, do you watch Star Wars Theory, Freddie? I do. I watch Star Wars Theory almost every day. My daily routine is to wake up, hopefully not feel dizzy from getting up too quickly. Um, and then just to go to my home page and click on whatever Star Wars theory video is there and then watch about 10 minutes of it and think oh my word he hasn't actually said anything uh this is dull and then click off and i'll do that every single day have you ho ever honked your car horn in anger at another driver a is it illegal to do that um if it is illegal to do that then no and if it isn't then yes i have done that on occasion sometimes people just you know they push your patience, don't they? Um, but it's rare. I think I've probably only done that a couple of times. What car do you have? I have a Jaguar X-Type. It's a green, nice-looking Jaguar that's basically a Ford Mondeo with some plastic wood inside it. 
are you looking forward to Terminator Dark Fate? Not a huge fan of uh, Terminator. So, no. Sam Smith still... No, I'm not, I'm not going to enter the whole pronoun argument because that is far too sensitive and I am far too cowardly to broach that topic. But what I will say is that I do believe in referring to people by the pronouns that they prefer. Uh, after watching your energy saving program, I have halved my electricity bill. Really? How did you do that? Um, after watch, after filming my video, I've managed to make my bills go up by. Well, actually, no, I haven't. I changed energy supplier, forgot that there's a thing called a standing charge. So in that video, I didn't point out that I have to pay 40p a day, basically just to not use anything. What a rip off. Do you like frogs? I love frogs. They're cute, aren't they? A little bit slimy, but I do like frogs. Have you ever done a hit and run on a homeless man? John Smith, you 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 make me laugh, but you ask some very odd questions. Of course, I haven't ever hit and run some anybody, not even a homeless man or a non-homeless man. I haven't hit and run anyone. How many computer programming languages do you know how to code in? Uh, MATLAB, a bit of C++, a bit of Objective-C, Perl, Java, PHP, JavaScript, which is, you know, basically just Java, HTML, which isn't a programming language. It's a markup language, which is different. Oh, a tiny, tiny bit of Python, but I wish I, I wish I knew more Python, but I don't. Have you honked your car horn at some lovely ladies? No, I'm not a beast. I wouldn't do that. The most I would do is go secretly to myself, oh, hello, in a kind of very camp, inappropriate way. But I wouldn't honk my horn. I'm not, you know, I don't think women would appreciate that, would they? Honk, honk. Do you watch the telly? Of course I watch the telly. Everyone does. And anyone who says they don't watch the telly, they're lying, aren't they? Are you looking forward to The Last of Us 2? Never heard of it. What's it about? Greetings from Germany. Maybe we can do a collab sometime. I host a culture channel and maybe I look a bit like an older German version of you. These are good reasons to say yes. Oh, well, that's that's quite an interesting um, proposition there. I'll check you out. And if if you're sufficiently popular, then we'll we'll collaborate. GIF or GIF? Well, of course, I say GIF, but is it meant to be GIF? Could you refer to me as Sir, please? Sir, no easy money? Is that happy? Are you happy now? Have you ever teamed up with friends and hunted homeless men for sport? No. Why are you asking me these stupid questions? Have you risked your life to get a photo in front of Abbey Road Studios? No, a, a, a shame to say I've never been to Abbey Road Studios, but if I ever go that way... I will be sure to um, to get a photo there. What do you order from Mackey's for breakfast? A sausage and egg McMuffin with a hash brown, an orange juice and a coffee. Of course, you're always slightly concerned that if you have an ice cold orange juice and then a boiling hot coffee that you're going to somehow crack your internal organs. But it's worth it, really. Of course, it's not worth it that hour later when your guts start churning and you feel really unwell. But at the time, it's one of the best sensations one can possibly have. Good evening, Dr. J. Greetings from Amsterdam. Good evening. You're only like 150 miles away from me. Hey, Jake. Copper magic. Hey, how can you say that, that Jake? You don't even know me. I never watch TV. Are you sure? I reckon you do. I reckon you're lying to me, but I don't know for certain. I wish I could talk good like you can. I'm sure you can talk well good. 
are you on Twitter? I am. I am on Twitter. If you look up Dr. Jake's Very British Reviews on Twitter, I am on there. Um, oh, indigestion. How have I always got indigestion? We've got 107 people in here. This is absolutely, I can't, it's, I can't process it. That's, shouldn't you be doing, shouldn't you be watching TV or out drinking or something or doing something fun? Not watching me. Have you ever cut off a homeless man's hands and legs? No, no, I haven't. I can look. I, let me stop you there, John Smith. I have never injured, hurt, sworn at. I've rarely spoken to homeless people. The most, my only interactions with homeless people have occasionally been giving is giving them a few quid. That's it. So please stop asking me whether or not I've maimed them or injured them to please please do you like kfc mcdonald's or burger king but i like all of them but i think burger king controversially is probably my favorite the name of my channel is photo mov i shall check it out i pour south park for this blimey that honestly I wouldn't pause South Park for this. I would get back to it. Pubs are too expensive now. So in a way, the whole sort of, you know, price rises of pubs and the death of the pub, the country pub, it's been quite good for me, isn't it? So um, there's there's positives to everything. London Bridge Bricks. Hello, Dr. Jake. When are you going to start building some Lego? That's why I started watching for you back in the day. I will do, don't worry. I may do some live streams where I build some Lego sets. I just haven't got, I've run out of ideas. You need to help me out. You need to help me think of some Lego videos to film. Have you ever lied in response to one of John Smith's questions? All his questions have been about killing people. And no, I haven't lied in any of them. You look like you're in a therapy session. I, just, I feel like I'm in a I don't know what I was going to say then. A prison. I feel like I'm in. I feel like I'm being interrogated. To be honest with you, you're so cool. I'm. I'm really not cool, but I appreciate you. You saying that. That's nice of you to say. Someone says you're so cool, and the following person, presumably in answer to the same question, says he is. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Since you're British, how do you drink your tea? Very hot. Just hot or cold or hot with milk. So sort of tepid with milk. Uh, you look like a teddy bear, lol. I, I do look a little bit like a, a teddy bear. It has been pointed out to me in the past. Um, do you know what FTM means? No, I don't. Would you like to tell me? Unless it's rude, then just keep it to yourself. Would you say your hair is dark blonde or light brown? I would say it's light brown, but I'm often told it's ginger. Don't think it is ginger. Beard's got a little bit of a ginger tinge to it, though. What's the biggest amount you've won on the lottery? I've probably I probably won 10 quid on the lottery once. I did win 700 quid, I think, on the premium bonds once, which is pretty good. Uh, confess, Dr. J, we know you're holding something back. Uh, joke. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I did once kill a homeless man. No, I, I did not. I've never killed a homeless man. But in, in all seriousness, do you remember there was that bloke from uh, a program we have in our quiz show in this country, Eggheads, I think. I'm not going to mention his name because it's probably libelous because it was probably proven to not be true. But this bloke wrote an autobiography in which he said that he kicked a homeless man like in and then he was like found dead or something and the intimation was that he maybe accidentally killed this homeless man and I believe he was arrested for it but um, I could be wrong you should correct me fancy putting a video out at this time of night I'll have nightmares it won't just be you having nightmares I had a terrible nightmare the other night actually that See if you can interpret this. I had a nightmare that I was like sitting at the side of a road and there was a woman in the road and um, she was kind of laying down in it. 
and she was waiting for cars to go past and one car went past just fine and then another car went past and drove over her neck and snapped her neck and then I woke up in absolute fear and terror what well, was really really horrible uh let's have a look can you send me a pair of your cool glasses you can buy these go go to ebay and look for hackett bespoke one heb 111 glasses you can get them from germany these frames for 60 pounds before dinner for me in New York, not late. Do you have a New York accent? New York. Do you ever watch Nightmare? I have done in the past, years ago. CJ came to our restaurant once a few, a few years ago. He was a cock. Well, that's good to know. What the actual F is wrong with you, man? Jay, what are you referring to? Is it my neck? Is it what do you mean? Or is it just my personality what what is wrong with me that's a good question i would like to know as well i'm seeing a lot of brown and beige colors are you playing a rerun of star trek the motion picture it's very 70s i think you'll find it's just the poor lighting conditions in this room it's not really actually beige 60 pounds i'm on nhs specials well you could always save up and get some of these fantastic fashionable glasses look they're kind of they're geeky glasses aren't they but i think they they do sort of suit me everybody posting gets free fake lego no they don't brooklyn accent have you ever heard one i probably have heard one but i'm an uncultured ignorant brit so like, New York is New York to me. It's like, it's all New York. Oh, walking down the sidewalk and all that. That's it, really. <sighs> I'm a type 1 diabetic, so my glasses were actually free. Well, every cloud. Do you watch Stranger Things? I don't watch Stranger Things, but I should do because people keep telling me how wonderful it is. So I should get round to watching it. Do you like shoes? What do you like shoes? Who, uh, shoes are a necessity. You can't really like them, can you? Were you just talk talking about New York with a Welsh accent? No, no, that was my that was my American accent. Bex Wilkie. Have you ever karate chopped a seagull in half? <laughs> what? No, I haven't. The mo my only interaction, like, so I've never killed a homeless person, and my only interaction with a damn seagull is feeding them chips or cleaning up their shit after they've shat. Is that the past participle of shit? You're offline. What? Am I offline? Can you tell me if you can see me? Because it says I'm offline. You can see me? If you can see me, I can't see you. One, you're fine. If you can... Oh, what's going on there? If you can see me, can you say hello? No, actually, that's a rubbish thing to. If you can see me, can you say eggnog? Say eggnog if you can see me, and then I'll carry on. Uh, eggnog. Okay, you can still see. It says I'm offline. I've gone grey. This software is a piece of absolute crap, isn't it? Let's be brutally honest here. Eggnog is a good safe word. I agree. I believe you can see me. It's fine. You can stop saying eggnog now. Oh, it's back. Right. Where were we? Somebody asked me a question. Oh, yeah, I've I, I haven't ever hurt a um, a seagull. What's your favourite biscuit? I don't know. Is is a tunnock that Scottish one? The tunnock thing, tunnock cake or something? Is that a biscuit? Uh, actually, my favourite biscuit is. Uh, one of those like round orange ones, Jaffa cake. 
I must admit, I just randomly stumbled across this stream, but have been thoroughly entertained, so I have subscribed. James, Briars, Byers even. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Again, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. I mean, you know, you could be doing something else. So if you are watching it, you must be enjoying it logically, unless you're a little bit sadomasochistic and uh, you just get off on, you know, punishing yourself. Have you ever ridden a cow? No, I haven't. Um, I, maybe that's something I'll do in the future, but who knows? You never know what's around the corner. Hopefully not a cow. Jaffa cakes are cakes. Bit controversial. Uh, are zebras white with black stripes or black with white stripes? All oh, very profound. Um, actually, I, I don't know. What is a zebra, really? I like stuffed lamb hearts. Oh, my God, that sounds, that's absolutely hideous. Um, I'm not even going to say that. That's rude and a little bit revolting. Have you ever ridden a horse? No, but I've stroked a horse. It's Horses are a lot more dangerous, actually, than people give them credit for, aren't they? Because the horse is very heavy. People think, you know, that horses are just kind of, what's the word, you know, just tame. and But, you know, horses can charge and horses, if they fell over, they'd squash you. Um, it's already got a thumbs up from me. Thank you very much. Have you ever had a shower with a dog? No, I haven't, Bex. Have you had a shower with a dog? I would imagine that, do dogs like showers? My dog never liked any water at all. So I would have been unlikely to have got in the uh, bath with him. You remind me of Elton John and Ed Sheeran's Love Child. Want to hear you sing now? I want love, but it's impossible. Oh, that was very out of tune. I promise I can sing better than that. What's wrong with you, Jake? You don't like black pudding or lamb's hearts. You saying that you, next you'll be saying you're adverse to liver. Um, I don't. I don't mind liver pate, but uh, I don't like just liver and onions or something. Oh, disgusting. Would you have a shower with a dog? To be honest, I love dogs. I would hug a dog, lick a dog, kiss a dog, stroke a dog, smell a dog, lie down with a dog, talk to a dog. I just, I like dogs, really. Have you ever milked a cow blindfolded? No. I've touched, I've milked an artificial cow. Does that count? I'd love to see a vlog of the process of how you shop and purchase Lego. It would basically be me going to the reduced Lego and uh, picking up the one that interested me a little bit, which would be Star Wars. I could take you to my local toy store, though. Maybe I should do that. What software are you using? I'm just using the default YouTube software, which I have a feeling may not be around forever. Leave dogs alone. Dogs... Dogs love me, or at least they love me by the end of me forcing them to love me. Do you prefer a fat Spanish waiter or the pigeon lady from home alone? That is harsh. Uh, I don't know. Probably the pigeon lady. My, <laughs> my ex was a dog. Am I right? Sexist, but mildly amusing. Only with a nice bottle of Chianti. That was ever so slightly effeminate, actually, rather than an impression of um, Hannibal Lecter, wasn't it? What did Hannibal Lecter say? I, I ate a liver with a nice bottle of Chianti. <laughs> uh, are you a hype beast? Don't know what that is. My dog always wants in my shower. I would do all of those things to a dog, apart from lick. You can, honestly, puppies are so clean. You can lick a puppy and it doesn't even smell. It's just like licking, it's like licking a loaf of bread. I can't find you on Twitter. This is most underwhelming. Are you sure? Let me have a look. 
can hopefully you can still see me i'm trying to do it now twitter uh twitter search for dr j oh dr jake that was an interesting noise well i can find dr jake's reviews i'm on there as why have i why have i done that why have i not called the channel what my channel's actually called what an idiot what an absolute idiot i'm dr jake's reviews on twitter um when do you have another stream coming i haven't finished this one yet an hour i've been on here this is crazy uh what genre of books do you enjoy i like oh well, we got some more questions <clears throat> i like sci-fi books but I, I mainly like factual books i'm just such a sciencey geek you know i like facts don't really like fiction actually um have you ever tried cocaine no but in a local pub when i went for a drink once that makes it sound like oh, i went for a drink once i did see some people taking some cocaine it's just not something that appeals to me i'm really I honestly, I can barely swallow paracetamol, so I'm not going to be like, you know, taking class A drugs. Really not for me. Did you paint that room from the last video? I love the distressed wall with the big letters with light bulbs. Thank you, Julie. I haven't painted it yet. I probably am going to go slightly against your advice and have the whole room plastered and then I will paint it. But to be honest, it's stressing me out a bit. So I've shut the door and I'm pretending that it doesn't exist, but I eventually will go back in there and I will finish the job. Uh, why do you have another stream? I just saw it. Yeah, I accidentally created two streams. Sorry about that. I didn't really know what I was doing and created two and now they're both there and I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I've got a PhD in computing. Oh, dear. Do you buy do you buy Cripro, Cripros or stock market? Um, I think instead of Cripos, I, I assume you mean cryptos, cryptocurrency. And I do have a little bit, about 100 quid's worth. Let's face it, it's dead, isn't it? But you keep it in the hope that eventually there's some huge resurgence and you become a multi-gazillionaire. Are you a flat earther? I am. Love me a bit of flat earth. Um, of course, there are a few problems with that viewpoint like the fact it's scientifically impossible would you rather have all traffic lights you approach turn green or never have to sta stand in line again uh i'd rather have them all turn green which flavor of crisps do you like cheese and onion ever used your middle finger oh <laughs> <laughs> ever use your middle finger in anger of course everybody gets angry even this even this calm sensible person gets angry once in a while but rarely um are you going to talk about the rise of skywalker oh well, a little bit i mean ask me a question about it i i am not that excited about it of course i'll go and see it because you want to see what J.J. Abrams is going to do to bring the whole saga together, to end it. But I'm just slightly worried that it's going to be crap. I don't know what to expect from the film. Don't really like Ray. Don't really like whatever he's called. Kylo, Moody, Ren. Um, not really interested in seeing Lando back again. I think he looks a bit old and a bit stupid now. Sorry. Just me. I don't know. Is Darth Vader going to come back? The Emperor? How is it? Are they going to bring him, bring him back? I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to it, to be brutally honest. But I will watch it because you have to. The manager who got Freddie Mercury onto drugs was the same one who got Elton John drunk. They should have had the same actor play the role in both films. Good point. Great content, mate. Lewis, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, I assume there's a, probably a, a slight tinge of sarcasm in what you're saying, 
because this live stream is just going from strength to strength, isn't it? Uh, what do you think about Mandela effects? Is this that thing where people think that he died in prison or something, but he didn't, and a whole nation or the whole world believes something that isn't true? Is that the Mandela effect? You will look older and more tired. Just ask me. Okay, I will do. Are you keeping hydrated? What's your Friday night tipple? I'm not keeping hydrated. Can I bring you to the hydration department? I could do, couldn't I? That's the hydration department. That's the kitchen. Uh, how do I do this? Because I'm plugged in. If I unplug this, uh, your whiskey collection is stupendous. Thank you. I'm going to take you with me. Look at this. Here we go. Yes, you should drink something. I don't know if I'm going to drink any alcohol. I might just drink a can of Coke. Right, are you going to come with me? Can hello, I'd like? I would like to start doing ASMR videos, but I don't really know what you talk about. There's that um, lady who watches my videos occasionally, Miss Vindy Cat ASMR. It is very, it's very addictive listening. Yeah, you because know, it's so relaxing. You just go to sleep, wouldn't you? But I don't know. Maybe I should start. I mean, what, what do you do with a whis with a whisper video? Hello, everybody. Welcome, Jake's very British reviews. Can you actually hear me if I do that, or do I have to do I have to whisper more like this? Is this nice, or is this a little bit disturbing? ASMR videos are for wrongans and for perverts. That's not very nice. That's not very nice, is it? Sounds good on my new speakers. Oh, shall I do some beatbox? <laughs> beatbox? I can't beatbox. Is that sound rubbish? That's a bit BBC circa 1940. Hello, and welcome to the BBC World Service. Next on the BBC, it's time for the news at one. Good evening, and welcome to the news. You have broke the internet. You've broken the internet, that should be. That's not very... That's not good... That ain't good English. Is it Luke, I am your father, or no, I am your father? No, I am your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Your thumbnail picture looks like you're wearing a jacket with a mass with massive shoulder pads. Maybe I was. Kitchen tour. Okay, right, guys, here we go, here we go. We're going mobile. We're going mobile. Here we go. I'm so thirsty. I can barely like. I, I need to do um, whisper video because uh, I can't barely speak. My vo my throat is so dry. I hope I don't get a a um, sore throat. Apologies. I'm sure you've covered it. But what was your PhD thesis on? My PhD thesis was on computer lip reading. Oh my word! What am I doing? What what am I bringing with me? I built a computer system to do lip reading. It didn't really work very well, mind. Uh, what do you watch on TV? Uh, everybody, oh, stop, stop doing that. Stop mentioning farts and juices, please. You seem to have dropped your gay card. My what card? Oh, no, this is, honestly, I am so frustrated. I, I've, I've got a cable stuck in the door. Dr. Jake, I walked past you the other day. Richard's reality, are you sure? From where did you walk past me? Let me know. Let me know. Did I acknowledge you or was I rude? Why didn't you introduce yourself? Let me know. Oh, this is driving me round the... I am... Oh, my word. I've never been so angry as I am right now. Oh, you won't like me when I'm angry. Uh. Best thing to do, Richard, just keep walking. <laughs> that John Smith guy, he is a little bit of a he's a little bit of a git, but you know what? You're actually quite funny, aren't you? That's that's the problem. You should set up your own you should set up your own YouTube channel because you're you're funny and and you could get off my damn channel, couldn't you? When it well it would get right, life is like a box of chocolates. Was it? Oh, I, oh, I was quite surprised to see you. I don't want to drop the location. 
in case you don't want to, but it was Norwich. Well, you kind of, where, but where was it? I'm, I'm interested to know. You should have introduced yourself. You need a stiff drink after all that. Fight the spider. Right, I'm going to show you this spider. I, I warn you now, if the damn thing moves, I will jump out of my skin because I do have quite a serious phobia of them. Um, show that big cock. There's no chickens in here, so there won't be any of that going on, I'm afraid. Um, right. This looks like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh, I am very scared. Um, everybody, uh, will you stop doing that? Where did the f phobia originate from? My dad reckons that when I was... Can you still hear me? My dad reckons that when I was very young, he once ate a prune in front of me and said that he was eating a spider and that I looked disgusted. And he reckons that it stems from that. But I reckon it just looks like... It's just because spiders look like they come from the pits of hell with these revolting, revolting uh, legs. I mean, they're just disgusting, aren't they? Who likes a spider? Spider. If you show that spider, I will find you and I will kill you and steal money for the new phone because seeing the devil will make me destroy my phone. Well, that's... Um, I'm going to have to take that risk, I'm afraid, because I said I would show the spider. Of course, this is going to probably be pretty underwhelming, isn't it? You're going to look at this and you're going to be like, what a wimp. Why can't he handle that? Right, here we go. Oh, geez. This is possibly the biggest event of the internet of 2019, isn't it? Revealing this spider. Okay, here we go. I'll come and introduce myself, then put you back in your skin, bit far from Detroit, but all right. Uh, right, here we go. Five, we're gonna do a countdown to the spider. Five, four, three, two, one. Please don't move. Please don't move. Oh, my God. Can you still hear me? Oh, I don't believe it. You can't even see it, can you? It's, it's, oh, you can't see the damn thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I look like a complete and utter wuss now because it's, it's there. It's, oh, Jesus, wet. It's. It's in that little crevice down there, and it does things with its legs. I look like a nutcase. You need a microscope, dude. It's not tiny. Is it in the Doritos bag? No. I, it's behind you. You're hilarious, you are. If you were requested to pluck a hair from the queen's head, where would you choose to pluck it from, specifically the eyebrow? Put a flashlight on it. You, you're a smart ass, aren't you? That's probably quite a good idea. Wait there, wait there. Ah, I can't believe a hundred people just kind of. Is Jake in his underpants? Am I in my underpants? No, I mean, as if I would walk around in my underpants. What is the secret to grow on YouTube? That's a really good question. If you ever find out the answer, please let me know. My advice is to have a viral video um, and ride on the success for a month and then lose all the momentum. That's my, and then spend the rest of your time painstakingly making videos and getting nowhere. Can you hear me all right, by the way? He's got the fleshlight. Flashlight, I think you'll find. Oh dear, oh dear. Do you have a day job too? Yes. I'm surprised you don't have rats, never mind spiders, looking at your kitchen. What are you talking about? The kitchen's all right. It's just a bit dark. Let me turn the light on. Now, there is a problem. We might have a power cut and I might die. 
as well because I've replaced the halogen bulbs with LED, LED bulbs, but it's not, I don't want to be too technical, but it's not the right driver for these LED bulbs. So they do make quite a horrible humming sound. Anyway, I'm going to do what I should have done a while ago and blimey, it's 20 to midnight. Um, I'm going to try and show you this spider. So here we go. Here we go. We'll go around here. I've got some light to shine on it so you can see it properly. God almighty. I re Honestly, guys, I don't know. I'm, I really have an irrational phobia of spiders. There's not a lot I can do. I've got a horrible feeling this damn thing's going to decide to move soon. Holy moly. Can you see it? Oh, why does it look so damn small? Said the actor to the bishop. Oh, um, uh, okay. Do, if you die, leave everything to me, especially your subscribers. Oh, well, I'm glad that my welfare is the uh, is the, the paramount importance. You know, I mean, fancy you, you, you people. What happened to us? We we're watching a spider on YouTube. I'm watching it in real life. It's even more underwhelming. This is bigger than Jake versus KSI. It's true. It's a pretty big event, isn't it? I, I'm, I can't actually believe how small the spider looks on the screen. Honestly, there, it's like as big as my hand. But the damn thing, it's like it keeps doing things like this with its leg and climbing up the work surface and looking around and using these kind of pincery things and then going back to its little position like it lives there. It's clearly got a web there. It's let me show you briefly again. It's made it it's made its home near the um crisps and toilet paper, which means that basically I can I can never eat crisps again. I can never wipe certain areas of my body ever again. I can never I mean I'm gonna have great difficulty using the washing machine or opening the freezer now because that damn thing is in the way. How tall are you? We need to know for scale. I'm not hugely tall. I'm like five foot five. I'm quite short. Have you offered it tea or perhaps ale? Oh, I could offer to shoot it in the face. Uh, what kind of doctor are you, Jake? A medical one? Of I'm a computer scientist. I could show you my um, thesis, but it's got my middle name on it, so I... I won't do that because that's a little bit too revealing, isn't it? It's a little bit embarrassing. I've woken up with a spider on my face. No joke. My mum actually was telling me over dinner that, that um, she's having a coffee, uh, having a tea one morning and she's drinking it. And she needs glasses, but she never really wears them enough. And she said, oh, I could see this weird blob in front of my eyes. And I thought, oh, it looks like it's moving. So she did that with her hands. And this great big spider landed in her tea and she didn't finish it. Apparently, she just poured it away. What is your middle name? My middle name is YouTube. Little known fact. Get the spider drunk. If you put a spider in a bowl of like whiskey, do you think it would get drunk or do you think it would just drown? In the 80s, after a night in the pub, I come home to a bit of telly, maybe the Sweeney. Nowadays, I'm watching Jake catch a spider. <laughs> you got to laugh. You're not watching me catch a spider. You're watching me cower from a spider in fear in the corner of a room. Uh, what brand of tea do you drink? Please bear in mind that there is only one correct answer. I should think your one is like, what's that northern tea that northern people drink? Is it? What's it called? Northern tea. Oh, come off it. Somebody, Mike Holt Ackers, has donated two euros for spider venom. What do you mean? Do you mean you pay me two, you pay me two euros to touch it? Because honestly, you could put a million pounds as a donation and I would not go anywhere near that spider. I'm embarrassed watching this fear of a small bug i'm i'm sorry it's my biggest weakness i just yorkshire tea that's it of course of course it's yorkshire tea 
Have you never seen the videos of spiders making webs after doing LSD? That's not true, is it? Let you let your woman kill it. I my my woman. <laughs> My girlfriend's actually very good at getting rid of them. She doesn't like them. She's kind of got a referred fear from me, but she is much better at getting rid of them than me. What do you think about the success of a Lego channel? Is it a good idea? I think it's very difficult in this day and age to make a successful Lego channel, to be brutally honest. There are so many people doing a great job. How can you possibly compete with them? You've got to have some kind of novel twist. You know, you can't just review a Lego set because there's thousands of videos like that. You're very northernist, Jake. I haven't even mentioned high sixes or meet my wife and my sister jokes. Well, I don't know what you're getting at. You've been you spent too long down a coal mine, Barney, eating your your bread cakes and your mushy peas, you know. You need to come down south for some culture and some successful business. Do you know what I mean? You need, do you know what I mean, Barney? Not really. I, the north is lovely. You've got some great, some great, great walls. Um, uh, oh, someone's asked a question. Do you watch M and R Productions? Yes, I do watch M and R Productions. What's your favourite bit of centre plaques? My favourite bit of centre plaques is the swimming pool. G'day, mate, from the Philippines. Love your shows, mate. Thank you, Aussie farming in the Philippines. Am I to gather from your very descriptive name that you are an Aussie living in the Philippines? It's hard to make any successful channel. Just look at Jake. It's true. Do you watch Techmoan? Yes, I love Techmoan. Do you live in a rural or an urban area? I live in an urban area. Do you have Sky? No, I don't. Do you think that Jake, Jake, that the algorithm favours Lego channels as it's easier to get Lego channels monetized? I have no idea. The one thing I have learnt for certain is that I don't know anything for certain about the YouTube algorithm. You have to have lady luck on your side to make it on YouTube now. I completely agree. Can you wait just a second here, guys, while I get myself a drink of water? I'm not going to stick around for ages, but, you know, still we've still got 78 people here, still very impressive, and I'm still, I think this, I've still got some energy, and I think there's a little bit of... Um, a way to go, and I can see you're on top form saying things like, Jake is the only person who can make granny glasses look cool, but I'm desperate for a drink, and I need to reply to a text message, so I'm just going to put this here on the on this glass thing, I'm going to reply to a text message, because I've got one, here we go, only a third, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah. ooh. Da, uh, 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 uh. That's one thing done. Thank you for sticking around if you did. Huh. Well, I better go. Good watch. But I, admittedly, watching me text message was probably a step too far. We can no, you can't read it in the reflection of my glasses. You can't, can you? You guys, no, don't be so not stupid. How many homeless men is a normal man worth? Three, three men. Don't be ridiculous. Stop trying to bait me into saying controversial things. <sighs> It's been a long day. I'm not going to drink from a bottle of gin. But I am going to drink an entire bottle of Canadian maple syrup. So, uh, down the hatch. Type 1 diabetes. Here we come. Virgin, 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 virgin. I'm not a virgin. 
but thank you for expressing that opinion. Nothing wrong with being a virgin, actually. It's, um, you know, it's, well, there's another person out there that thinks, well, I'm not a virgin. Gin would be appropriate, Jake. I know, it really would. Jake gets more, yeah, thank you, more putty. I get more putty than him, that's for, that's for sure. Punk ass bitch. Genius expert. Who do you think you are, come, you are coming on my channel being rude? Who, to think that I was going to make you some delicious Aunt Jemima pancakes. Um, and this is how you reward me. I mean, what a horrible person you are. You, you ain't getting no pancakes, mate. Mike Holtak has, has sent another two euros. Thank you very much, Mike. He says, do spiders watch spider porn? Um, do you know what? I think that spider's moved, by the way. They don't, but I do have those kind of long, spindly-legged spiders in my bedroom, and I think they're all shagging, and I think there's some little baby ones. Don't mind those too much, actually. Wait a sec. Get to drawing, bitch. I'm not drawing anything. Who replaced your light switches? Um, I got a... Um, how do you know I had my light switches? I had a electrician come and do it. I'm the boss. Today, you must draw 30 pictures of Scooby-Doo. Dr. Jake, why have you texted me a dick pic? Uh, What happens with these? These live streams always follow the same pattern. They start off relatively tame, and by the end, it's just a load of people sending some very strange things, but thankfully, I do enjoy it. Have you seen the James May Richard Hammond video where they build Lego while they do vodka shots? I think you should do similar, but maybe with tequila and pig trotters. I may well do that. I may have to do some drunk Lego building. Spiders have eight eyes. They watch everything. Oh, God, it's hideous. Good night, everyone. Going to go to bed. Good night to you. We should all go to bed soon. I've been doing this for an hour and a half, believe it or not. Do people at work watch your videos? Some of them do, yes. What's the proper diction here? Doing a poo or taking a poo? Hmm. Doing, I'm doing a poo and tea. I think it's doing a poo. Taking a poo sounds wrong. Taking a poo sounds like you've picked up a poo uh, it sounds a little bit american i would say i'm doing a poo if anyone was to ask me do you live in cambridge no i don't uh, goodbye to you uh, i'm the boss you work for me superb so i've got i got to draw spider-man pictures for you is that what you're asking Hey, Jake, which channel will be easier to develop and monetize? I don't know because you haven't given me the options. Tomorrow, you've got to grow some corn. I'm the boss. How am I going to grow corn? I have a dear, oh dear. And now you are, whoever's asked, having, we're now debating whether or not, yeah, welcome. Welcome to Dr. Jake's Very British Reviews, where we're now debating whether or not it's having a poo or taking a poo honestly you guys there is no limit to the depths you will go to is there absolute pinch a loaf oh dear oh dear is this the full argument or the full half hour i don't know which is the best center parks daniel cunningham thank you for bringing us back to normality the best center parks is elberton by far Passing a stall, I'm um, laying cable, stop it. <sighs> Enough of the poo talk already, guys. Come on, come on. Let's, let's be serious. It's ridiculous. And, and really, Benny, I'm not going to read that out. You've just, it didn't even need to be said, but you said it. Draw Spider Man like Drac. Jack drew the French ladies. Ooh, isn't naked Spider-Man just a naked person? 
Ah, oh dear, y you're a top bloke. Thank you very much, Yusuf. Thank you. Much appreciated. Go back to the couch. You're getting cranky. I should do, shouldn't I? Should I do that? Should I go back to the couch? Right, okay. Are you looking forward to Star Trek Picard again? Yes. Yes, in theory, but no in practice, because, you know, slightly worried that it's going to be another Star Trek discovery, which I enjoyed a little bit, but it's not. It ain't no Star Trek The Next Generation, is it? Show us a British TV commercial. I can't because I'll get demonetized. I'm leaving the spider, guys. Let's let's go around here like this. Put the laptop down like that. Hope it doesn't fall off and smash onto the floor. Cranky needs a poo. Okay, I'll stop. I don't need a poo. Use if I liked Discovery. Do I think Control will become the Borg? Hmm, possibly. There isn't enough Borg in the Star Trek universe at the moment, and clearly that's all going to change in Star Trek Discovery. There is something growing out of your ceiling. I know, it's a, a plastic plant. It's unfortunate, isn't it? An Aussie Philippine, nobody's trolling, you little suck-up prefect type. I don't... <laughs> Don't get what you're saying, but uh, sounds like an insult. So I, well, I've read it out now, so I can't really ignore it, can I? But let's put that there like that. It was good seeing of Seven of Nine in the trailer. It's always good seeing Seven of Nine if you get my drift. Let me just take a drink. Uh. Oh, dear. Cable management is awful under that light cabinet. OK, everybody loves to point out my overloaded sockets and my poor cable management. I really don't care. I do not have enough time to be concerned about my about beautifying my cables. But I will take your criticism. I appreciate that not everybody could live like that. But that is the way I live. You left a light on. Uh, did I? Oh, well, I don't mind. It's a small one. It's only like eight watts or something. I've got one of those Coke glasses. You know, I've got like eight of them. He's drunk, isn't he? Mr. Marsh, no, I'm not drunk. I had a chocolate mousse and lots of glasses of water, but I have not had any alcohol, believe it or not. I'm completely sober. Uh... What do you plan to be doing in five years? Well, I'd quite like to um, be a multimillionaire, but you know, how likely is that? You could start by making some donations, couldn't you? Don't that's don't even know why I said that. Well, I do. I want people to donate, but I don't know why I actually said it anyway. Uh, I love Picard. I love Picard too. He is definitely drunk and the girlfriend left him. Uh, no and no, but thank you. He's not drunk. He is British and he is, it's nearly midnight there. Poor darling. I know I'm, I am actually struggling quite a lot. It's five to midnight, isn't it? My voice is a little bit hoarse and dry, but I, you know, I should stop moaning. That's a very British thing to do, but I should stop moaning. He, in five years, he won't be chatting to us. Why not? That sounds a bit sinister. Something sounds like you know something that I don't. Welcome to Jake wants to be a millionaire. Diddle -diddle 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 -diddle. Your first question for millionaire status. Can't think of one. Well, <laughs> that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? He's drinking gin neat at the moment. I am not drinking gin. I look at my picture, though, and it does look like I'm drunk. Maybe I have accidentally got confused and filled it with gin. Who knows? Um, do you wish you replaced Queen Elizabeth? No, actually, I think she's got quite a difficult job, old Queenie. I wouldn't want to do that job. 
your girlfriend can't leave you in Norfolk because it's usually your sister. You are so funny, Barney. Well, your girlfriend. Your girlfriend owns a... I forgot what they're called. Kestrel called Kez and uh, goes on the Yorkshire Dales and it th likes dull weather. How do you like them potatoes? Welcome to Dr. Jake's very weird and very entertaining live stream. Thank you, John Smith. I see you have calmed down slightly, and I appreciate that. I tried asking him about his decorating, and he is deliberately ignoring my question, which makes me think that it's a total disaster. And another room. I have abandoned the decorating for a week or two. I've stripped the walls completely, but it was just stressing me out a bit too much. So I'm going to go and do a bit by bit, then get the plasterer in to plaster it, and then bit by bit paint it, rather than exhaust myself and try and do it all as quickly as possible. Fallen plaster everywhere, spiders coming out of the woodwork. Actually, following that video, I did have some massive spiders in that room. Ooh, horrible it was. I'd love a girlfriend with a kestrel. Of course you would, Barney, because you're northern. Of course you'd love a girlfriend with a kestrel. You'd love a girlfriend with a kestrel. And I should really think of what I'm going to say before I before I start to say. So I can't think of anything else. Northern. Darts, is that northern? Fight. Fighting. That's northern, isn't it? It's already midnight. You know what? It is midnight and I think I'm going to go. I think an hour and 37 minutes is probably enough. I hope you've enjoyed this live. It's impromptu live stream. I hope it's been slightly entertaining for you. Thank you if you stuck around for the whole thing. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If for some unbelievable set of circumstances you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then do please consider doing that because if you enjoyed this you might enjoy my other videos anyway i'm going to go and fall asleep james byers interesting idea there we'll see um people you you guys will never cease to amaze me with your potty mouths your obsession with things that come out of bottoms you know extraordinary anyway au revoir goodbye julie goodbye james goodbye mike thank you for your donations much appreciated they paid for this water incidentally my water bill this month was uh, 16 pounds so either i'm not showering enough or i'm not doing enough washing up i'll leave the truth to you goodbye guys i shall see you soon for another video I shouldn't film videos on the side because it makes me look like I've had a stroke. See you next time. I'm still reading. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm kind of, as you can see, I'm stringing out the goodbye. Do you see? Clever, isn't it? This has been the most enjoyable. I look forward to the next. I'm going to do more of these. They're easy to do. They're fun. So I shall do some more. Anyway, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I am actually going now. Am I? <laughs> no, I am by. Oh, wait a minute. Bye.